Last year, you know, I did the feature, um, Moolab, it was essentially, you know, had just been released. Um, you know, you've been working this record for about a year now. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of artists, you know, they come up with singles and they just keep on coming out with singles to some, you know, to some hits like instantly. I guess what made you really want to just write this, this one out? Once I first went on promo with the record, I thought it wasn't a record. You know, but after like sit down and talking to the team, you know what I'm saying, um, and just basically everybody telling me, man, just give it time. You know, we're gonna keep pushing it. That's the one. You know what I'm saying? And it was a team effort. You know what I'm saying? Because you know I was kind of feeling a little different about it. You know, going performing in the tough markets and it's not really getting a response. You know, but once you know, you know, we came together collectively and came with a plan, the structure for the record, it started clicking. Went to hearing it on the radio. And it went to like interacting with the fans. It's over with. Cool. So what was that moment when it like kind of clicked and you started seeing like, oh, this thing was really going? What was that moment that you kind of realized that? When I was on tour with Kevin Gates, um, I think it was like the fir first or the second city, and the fans were singing it word for word. That's when I knew I was out of here with that record. What kind of wisdom did he impart upon you? Because you know he's a guy full of wisdom, man. So well, you know he just was like, listen, little brother. Even if you know something, bro, you got to play dumb sometime to get to where you got to get at. Because if you show too much, then that's the less they're going to do because they're going to feel like you know it all. So sometimes you just got to play dumb and just say, yes, sir, yes, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the greatest gifts he could have he ever gave me because, you know, um, I'm a, I, I, I know I'm a very intelligent person. But, you know, sometimes intelligence is not always the key. Yeah. You follow where I'm coming yeah, from? I feel you, man. So, you know, um, you know, um, sometimes you just got to sit back and let everybody else do their job and you just be honest. So, I guess, you know, since the, you know, since Moolah has kind of just popped off, man, who, who's kind of been hitting, you, hitting your phone up? I just talking about this, everybody. <laughs> if you name them, I'm going to say, yeah, they call me. <laughs> yeah, they called me too. Oh, yeah, I talked to him yesterday. But, I mean, everybody, it's, it's been more so of just saluting and showing love. Like, man, I remember when you was, Working or doing this, I met you here. So it just been, it's been, it's been love. And at first, you know, I used to always be a person like, man, I don't want to hear that shit when I make it. All them phone calls, all the fake love, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta expect people to be like, man, I salute you. You know what I'm saying? And you know, um, you know, everything ain't genuine, but some stuff is. You just gotta take the bitter with the sweet. So I appreciate the love and support from everybody who's been calling. So you know, outside of it, kind of bringing a breakout single. It's also kind of like a reemergence of Jazzy Faye as a producer. You know, he's kind of been missing an action out of you know for a minute almost in terms yeah. of the, you know in terms of radio. Um, talk about getting that beat, and I guess what well you know your head go with that. Um, you know, Jazzy Faye is one of the most creative producers in the music industry, so he always have a good like plethora of beats. You know what I'm saying? And Moolah was the first beat that he played out of the beats, the arsenal beats that he brought me. You know what I'm saying? So I really didn't even have a chance to listen to the rest of the beats because uh -huh. once I heard that one, I was just like, man, this is a single. Let me jump at it ASAP. And I put my little one-two on it, like 10 minutes you heard me, and that was a rap. Second biggest news is, you know, the fact that, you know, he was working with Akon. Um, you know, he was talking about how, you know, I was listening to the Breakfast Club interview. We kind of talked about how you kind of got together. Um, what was the first rule of order after the whole situation with uh, Akon happened? Well, um, you know, uh, I managed with Akon and Reese. Yeah. He co-managed me with Reese, and one of the first things that uh, we did is just to came up with a structure so we could communicate a lot and talk, and so he could stay up on, you know, what's going on, because Reese with me day to day. Yeah. So just the communication lines, keeping the communication lines open, and you know what I'm saying, being able to, to, to be honest with each other about everything. You know what I'm saying? That's the number one thing, just to be honest with each other about everything and having a, a, a definitive plan on every little thing that we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's going to help me get to the next level. You know, nothing work without a plan. So, you know, um, just collectively as a team between me, him, and Reese, you know what I'm saying, we work towards having an a, a, a executed plan all the way down, you know what I'm saying? So I guess what, you know, with that plan, I guess what was kind of the first indication that that plan was, you know, heading in the right direction for you? Man, to be honest with you, like, we, like, Moolah been going so fast, 
to uh, Moolah, the, the growth of the record, been beating our plans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so now it's like our plans is trying to catch up to, you know, the, the, the growth of the record because every day is something changing. Yeah. Every morning I wake up, some change. So, oh, this person, oh, this was Moolah. So it's like our plans is behind the record. Yeah. So we plan catch up. You know, which is, which is still a good yeah, thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's what we're dealing with right now. Moolah is taking off fast, and I'm excited. And, you know, we're just trying to, you know, add to, you know what I'm saying, the growth and the success of the record as a team. So, you know, what's the status of QC at the moment? You know, last year we had the, you know, run Amigos, and then clearly this year you're having a big, you know, big year. Um, I guess what's going on, you know, with the label itself, and I guess where's the momentum going? In, I mean, that? QC right now, I mean, the momentum with the label, everything has been going good. Every artist on the label been doing real good, making money, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, in, in this industry um, that's on labels, you know what I'm saying, i never seen an artist that had a label that have this many artists and everybody making money. And everybody popping, everybody on the blocks, you know what I'm saying? It's to me it's incredible. And you know what I'm saying? I, I salute, you know what I'm saying, uh Coach KP, you know what I'm saying, Reese, the support cast of everybody who, you know, helping, you know what I'm saying, the artists on the label get to where they have to get at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so as far as the label as a whole, man, you know, we doing good. It's QC the label. What's the plan for a follow up? I mean, I have several follow-ups, so just know I'm ready, babe. I'm in the cut like where I'm shooting at, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got several follow-ups, but I'm excited about I try to tell them too. Yeah. You know, you mean you talk, you know, you did the you know the cover about you know the first I try to tell them, but this I try to tell them too is gonna be the project that solidifies me. And this is gonna be a project where, you know, the next single is gonna come off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm very, very excited about that. I can't wait. I wish we was driving it tomorrow. Huh. So what's the plan? So how do you kind of go from you know everything you you kind of established to I tried to tell them too, um, I guess who you working with? And I mean on this pro I I been, on this project is all me because I feel like I have a I have a battle with myself. I feel like I need to prove myself. I feel like the game not respecting me enough. I feel like they ain't respecting New Orleans, so I gotta put my feet down. You know what I'm saying? And you know it's almost like a man running his household. It's enough is enough. Yeah. So I feel like enough is enough. It's time for them to look at Young Greatness on the same level like they look at a Drake, a Meek Mill, a Future, a Rick Ross, a Jay-Z, a Young Jeezy. And I'm willing to work for it, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to work hard for it, and I ain't asking you know, nobody to give me anything or a handout to success. I just want to earn my keep. I want to just earn it, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the way I have to do that, I have to be consistent and put out dope records like those artists did. Stack my change, I ain't gonna see that jeweler. Stayed in the kitchen, the whip out that 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 whip out that